you know, I'm just reading up on all the weddings I can with my officiating duty coming for Tanya's wedding next spring. Mm-hmm. We set a date. We're like fully in. And Robbie's so involved. It's like the cutest thing to see. So how many people are attending? Uh, you don't know. I mean, we don't know. Well, people RSVP. I, the RSVP, I think our cutoff date is going to be like February, early February. What are you, what are you thinking, numbers-wise? 100? It's a very small wedding. Usually I officiate larger weddings. <laughs> this is like, we're just small. <laughs> Your forte. This is that you wanted a small wedding. She's doing this for you. Yes, exactly. Oh, no, she's, not. No, she's, not. <laughs> she's doing this for budget. So the internet's buzzing about this. Thousands of comments on Reddit. A woman got married last weekend. She and her husband, they're vegan. And wanted an all-vegan reception. So they spent months with a chef creating a gourmet vegan, like, five-course, like, a really nice menu. And they spent real money on the food. They didn't mention the food was vegan on the invites. They wanted people to enjoy it without thinking about it. So during the reception, her brother and their cousins, they walked in carrying 20 large pizzas. That's so mean. And they, they said, they, they said, real food for anyone who wants it. Oh, my God. So the bride goes to cry in the bathroom. Her husband asked her Aww. brother and cousin to leave, which caused a scene. Now, half the family saying they ruined their own wedding by pushing their beliefs on everybody else. Her mother-in-law even posted on Facebook that her son's wedding was saved by the pizza because the bride tried to force everyone to eat rabbit food. It is rabbit food, by the way. It's not that bad. I and went deal with to it on my wedding. I night. went to my my best friend Kaylin's uh, baby shower, and they did. They served. It was a vegan themed everything, and it is. But you suck it up, and you just eat the vegan food, and you carry on with your life. But it is it's rabbit also food. Also, their wedding. <laughs> Uh, no, but it's it, it is kind of weird. Like I'm gluten free, but I'm not making our entire menu gluten free. <laughs> it'll be an option. Not the entire menu. <laughs> and I'm saying it'll be an option. There will be an option for people, but like it seems. But come on, ordering the pizzas that sounds fun, but it is also it, it just upset the bride was so it much. Like, now, obviously, was it sensitive. during dinner or was it like at the end of the night? Because that doesn't bother me so much if it's at the no, end it was not, of it was the during, night. It was during the, it was yeah, during the meal. That is such a slap in the face. Yeah, rude. it's so rude. It's rude. It's rude. And what if they're vegan for like um, animal rights purposes and then you're walking in with the pizza? That's even ruder. Is that a word? So. What are you going to do for your meal? I'm just curious. Tom. Yeah. Maybe we're you actually, just do pizzas and call it a day. <laughs> we're actually doing food tasting this weekend. Mm. Oh, you're so happy. That's the best. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it will go make sure you go like starving because they give you different the, versions there's so much food to choose from. And it's, and I wish I was actually more hungry when I went because oh. you get full fast. Oh my gosh. I think casual is better. Yeah. I mean, I think it's going to be some version of like salads, Mexican tacos. Food? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Tacos. <laughs>